And a Fox News alert. Continued developments as North Korea launches another ballistic missile, setting up a major international test for the Trump administration. Some would say its first international test. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe speaking at a hastily arranged news conference in the Winter White House, calling the missile test, quote, absolutely intolerable. President Trump saying the United States backs Japan 100 percent to South Florida in a minute. But first, Garrett Tenney, who's tracking the developments here in Washington. Hi, Garrett. Hey, Leland. You know, North Korea has not made it a secret that its goal is to develop a nuclear missile that's capable of hitting the United States, and it has aggressively been working towards that goal. A spokesman for the U.S. Strategic Command tells us they detected the missile launch yesterday evening and that it was likely a medium or intermediate range ballistic missile, meaning it didn't have the range to reach the U.S., but could have easily reached a number of U.S. allies in the region. The missile eventually landed outside of Japan's territorial waters, but the pace and scale of these tests continue to be a major concern. In the last year, North Korea has attempted 24 missile launches and two nuclear tests. This latest test is the first, as you mentioned, since Donald Trump became president and is widely seen as North Korea testing the new administration. A point Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer made this morning on CBS's Face the Nation. North Korea has uh, shown itself to be an irresponsible nation in every way, and I'm sure they're testing President Trump. Uh, I was glad he issued the statement with the Prime Minister of Japan, but he also ought to do it quickly with South Korea. South Korea is probably more uh, susceptible to North Korea's uh, virulence than any other country. And for its part, South Korea has strongly denounced North Korea's latest ballistic missile launch, saying it shows Pyongyang is fanatically obsessed with nuclear and missile development. And hours after the launch, the head of South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said their military stands ready to respond immediately to any provocation that threatens their safety and warned that if the northern regime does not give up its delusion of nuclear and missile provocations, that they will ultimately destroy themselves in the near future. And this latest test, like nearly all of the previous ones in the last year, was in violation of UN Security Council resolutions, meaning more sanctions could be placed on the North in the near future. Though it's important to note that President Kim Jong-un has said nothing will stop his country from further developing these weapons. Leland? We'll have to see if the Chinese or Russians would agree to those sanctions as well. Garrett Tenney here in Washington.